Hello YouTube, this is Jeff Nam again, and this is the second part to my Fallout Order band gun. Alright. Just gotta set that. Now, this is what you had done before, because if you didn't, you should probably go watch the second part again. Or, first part again. You had the barrel done, and you had the power box and motor done. Alright, motor's right there. So have all that done. Now we're gonna make the main part of the gun. So you're gonna start with your two or four by eight. Yeah. And you're gonna put your motor on the back two studs. Just like that. And you're going to oh wait, actually, yeah, do that. Um Actually no, take that off for now. You're gonna take two of your one by fours with holes and put two one by fours on them. And then so you have that. Then you're gonna take your seven long stick, your spiral gear at uh two small spacers and one big one. Alright, you're going to put your big spacer and your little spacer on first. And you'll make it so there's only a one stud gap that's left. Then you'll put your spiral gear on and then your small spacer. And then you're gonna take you put it through the middle hole of each one by four, connect it to the motor. And place it on. Just like that. So it's all connected. Now when you turn the motor, the gear should spin. Alright. Now you're going to take two 1x4s. Just normal ones. Let me put them on each side. And put two 1x4s on those. Alright, so that's perfectly even. Now, you're going to take two of your 1x6 flats, put them on right that. Alright. Now, you're going to take two of your 1x4s, put them on just like there. And you're going to take two, one of your 2x4s, put it on there. You're going to take your last two... 1 by 4s or 1 by 16s out your four said long stick two spacers your gear two more of these and all right so you're going to put the gear in the middle middle of the four stud long stick So you have it just like that. Now put it in the second hole, just like that. Take your two pegs, put them in the middle hole. So it's like that. Now you're gonna take your last two pegs and your uh, barrel and connect them. Sorry, the gear fell out. Now you're going to connect them. So you should be able to move it. Put it. Sorry. And then you're going to move it like that. Oh. You're going to put a 1x4 on there. So it should not move. Now you're going to put that right there. Just like so. So now when you turn on the motor. the gear moves. Now under on the other side you're gonna put your 1x6 on there. Put a one or two by four brick on there and your angled piece on there. 
Okay. So now you're gonna take your motor block, whatever you wanna call it. I call it the grenade because it's huge. And you're gonna connect it on the bottom. All right. Now you're gonna take your two industrial rubber bands. You're gonna flip your gun over. Or actually, you can't do that here. Hold on. Let me put it on one. I'll show you how to do it. That way, it stays still for me. All right. So you put it on there, and you loop it from here onto the other side. And I do it twice. That way, it's that way the motor block stays on, and it this doesn't bust apart because it has happened. Now you're gonna take your smaller band and you're gonna clench the wire under the 1x4 brick. Double loop, or loop your rubber band so it looks like you have two. And put it right on there, just like that. Alright. Whoops. There we go. Now, for our roof, what I do is some a little simple thing. Hold on, I just gotta take it apart because I forgot to do that. So that means you're going to have to get more pieces. Yay! Alright, so you take... Uh, you can take two 1x6s, bricks, and two 1x6 tiles. Make these. Alright. They're four studs tall. Put them on that. And that. And then you're going to take a 2x4, put it on top. And then... You just push it on. Yeah, it looks like a roof. Oh crap. And then you also put a one or a two by four brick there. There. Now to load this. I'll show you how. So you load it on the very back here. Then you put your rubber bands above it. So you put it on the back tooth of the gear. Alright, you can't see that, I know it. There you go. Alright, so when you want to put more on, you push up on it, and it'll crank it backwards. And you press down to fire. And that's my full audio gun. Have fun with it. And if you have any more questions, like you didn't see something, I'll I will answer them for you. So don't be afraid to ask. Alright. Peace out.